Avec le cordon bleu, student, le cordon bleu, et le cordon bleu. Whoever told you chef school is fun lied. They lied to you, and I'm here to tell you the truth. Hi everyone, hope everyone's doing great. So this video is starting the night before the actual day starts. I wanted to talk about something that I don't think anybody talks about. Wait, I just spent the last 20 to 30 minutes ironing my apron, my necktie, my clothes, my chef's jacket, and my chef's trousers. My chef's jacket is just hanging there. Nobody told me how particular they are about like, I mean, hygiene is kind of like a given if you're dealing with food. That makes complete sense to me. I come home from school, I have like so many stains on my whites. I wash them, I dry them, and then I iron them every single day. Every day, that's literally all I do. I clean my clothes, I wash my clothes, I dry my clothes, I iron my clothes. I clean my clothes, I iron. Like it's the same routine every day. I'm getting really worked up about this. I don't, I don't mean to get this worked up about it. The reason that I kind of have to do it is that we have like a bunch of grades um, that like the course is like broken into. So obviously you have like your practicals, which are like the dishes that you make. They really are training us to like be in the hospitality industry and like be used to the kind of like standards that like hospitality has. Completely understand. I'm not saying anything about it. All I'm saying is that I wish somebody had told me so I would have been mentally prepared to do the washing and drying and ironing every day. I have also packed my little baggie so like i have this thing but i keep all of my um recipes notes all of that stuff in this thingy so that i can revise them once before i go into the, the demonstration because the worst thing for me at least is going into a classroom and like having to read my notes over and over and over again i just kind of need to like know what's happening up here so that i can move faster i don't know if i'll be able to record anything because they have a really really strict recording policy um for privacy reasons, I'm sure. But I'll try to sneak in some shit for you guys. I basically pack this, pack my uniform, um, and pack like my lunch, other things, and a snack all in my bag. Because I literally cannot work in the kitchen if I haven't eaten food. So on orientation day, we all got these totes. Le Cordon Bleu totes. I'm a Le Cordon Bleu student. Le Cordon Bleu. Le Cordon Bleu. Um, <laughs> I can't take myself seriously. Um, but like we got all of these really cute totes. And that's basically what I use as my bag because the bags that I have do not fit half of the stuff that I need. And it's a lot. The chefs are fine with us bringing our own equipment if we have it. So I brought my microplane here for that very reason because I love my microplane and it's like the best tool in the world. I would love to do a video about like my favorite like tools in the kitchen and stuff that I use all the time because I don't think a lot of people talk about stuff like that especially like Pakistani people like I don't think you should buy measuring cups or measuring spoons controversial I'm gonna put a couple of extra spoons and stuff because it gets really hectic in class and I only have the one spoon and if the one spoon is dirty I need to clean it before I use it for something else because chef is watching yeah so that is my pre-prep before I go into school I literally start getting ready for school the night before there's no way I can do all of this stuff at five in the morning I can barely get myself out of bed and shower so um, I have to be up really early tomorrow because I'm a team leader. So I'm probably going to wake up by like 5.15 tomorrow, which is so early. Oh my God. It's still dark outside. It's still dark and I'm awake. Why? That's not fair. That's not human. Whoever told you chef school is fun, lied. They lied to you and I'm here to tell you the truth. It's not fun. And, <laughs> and if you don't love it, I, don't, I genuinely don't think you could do it. I can't do it. And I love it. <laughs> so like, it's a toss up. Wake up time is 5.15 tomorrow. I'm tired already thinking about it. I'll see you guys then.
great morning. I just realized I left my measuring kit at school. At this point in the morning, I'm literally forcing myself to eat. I am in no mood to eat. I don't like eating. As soon as I wake up, I hate it. But like, I know that if I don't eat now, I'm gonna regret it in like an hour. So I like really am forcing myself to finish this meal, even though I don't want to, but I need to. Okay, now that breakfast is done, I'm gonna head over to the platform. Luckily, when I was walking up, the train was right there, which is like the best feeling in the world. I think one of the only advantages of waking up this early in the morning is that you can always find a seat to sit down on. So I take out my little recipe book and I be studying my recipes on my way to the station. And then I get to the other station, I have to change to another line. And then finally, I am at Hoburn Station and that's where school is. All I need to do is now walk to where school is. It's not that long of a walk, but on really crazy days, it feels like 25 minutes um, when it's actually just five. And then I finally get to school. Here are some beautiful outside shots of it. Then I get into the changing rooms. First things first is that you go and change out of your outside clothes into your uniform. I had a practical and a lecture today, so I'd be wearing two of my uniform kits. The practical uniform kit is usually with the whole apron and everything. Since I had a practical first thing, that's the thing that I changed into. Um, you have your like your full kit, you have your cloths, you have your hat, your hairnet, everything. We were making a coffee cake in class today or mocha or roulotte. In these clips, you can see me getting the decorations and all of the stuff. So first things first, I made some really cute coffee bean marzipan things. Um, which are not only cute, but they're super edible. And I fooled a lot of people on Instagram thinking that it was real, which is great. And then I made some candied ginger um, diamonds to also put on top. All of these things Chef had basically shown us in the demonstration the day before. So usually we have a demonstration to show us what the recipe is like. And then the next day we have a practical. So this was the practical day where I had to use my own notes and remember what the chef had said um so that i could make it accordingly so at this point my sponge had come out of the oven and it had cooled so it was time for me to cut it down to size on the side i'm also multitasking to the best of my abilities and making buttercream as well that's just whipping up on the side so you can periodically see me scrape butter into a non-existent bowl then i just got rid of all my cake scraps that i'm going to be munching on later and get my cake ready um so when my buttercream is ready i can just start assembling all of it then after that, it was the dreaded roll. I don't really like roll recipes because I feel like you can really crack it if you're not careful. So I was trying really hard to be careful, but I was still cracking it significantly. Luckily, all of this had to be covered in buttercream anyway, so I wasn't that fussed about it. What I was a little bit fussed about is the fact that my cake was not very evenly spread out, which made one of the sides a lot taller than the other side and i think that, that was just because of um my uneven buttercream thing you can see me figuring that out now 
and then me throwing in the towel because this is the best that I can do and I don't want to be wasting time on something I literally cannot fix. So I thought that the buttercream would cover it and we had to move on because time is a ticking. You don't even realize how quickly time ticks in these kitchens like it's crazy so after i'd got my entire thing covered i'd made some pretty designs on it there were some crushed nuts we put at the bottom and then i was just topping it with my chef's tweezers both the ginger and the coffee beans that i made earlier and it looks so cute if i do say so myself and yeah that's basically all we had to do and then after that everyone basically resets the kitchen everything gets cleaned down everyone is always helping each other and then you go and get graded um, based on how you've worked in the kitchen, how fast you were, how organized you were, how clean you were, and all of those other criteria that they basically explain to you in like orientation week. So this is my coffee cake. I love how it turned out. It was seriously delicious. I fed this to a lot of friends and also had a couple of slices myself. Then after that, we had a short break. And by short, I mean three hours. <laughs> so I just spent it in the cafeteria talking to friends talking about other things i went and got myself a coffee and a croissant as a midday snack and then headed down to my lecture that i'm showing you now is basically a lecture on cheese it was a completely cheese driven lecture the dude who was giving the lecture was like 35 years experienced he was so passionate and so excited about cheese that it made me excited about cheese we tried about like 15 different cheeses it was crazy and then at one point he wanted to like interact with the audience so he got out mozzarella that had been sitting in like a hot bath so it made it like super super stringy and he made all of us like hold the strings around the entire classroom and that was really fun it was a really informative lecture i had a lot of fun um, but at this point, I was exhausted. So all I wanted to do was go home. So I changed into my outside clothes again. And then I caught my train back home. Hi. Thank you so much for enjoying this video. If you liked it, please give it a like. And if you loved it, please subscribe. It would mean the world to have you as part of my YouTube family. In the next video, we're going to be talking about Le Cordon Bleu in terms of finances, in terms of equipment in terms of other things that you should expect from the school and if i think it's worth it or not so subscribe hit the notification bell so that you don't miss that video